Hello, my name is Katie Rushworth and today I'm going to take you around this typical English country garden and show you some of my favourite plants that can be used in any kind of garden design. This is a wonderful little plant, a Ridgeron Carvinskianus and it's self-seeded here from one plant that will have been put in the border and I couldn't think of anything prettier to self-seed amongst these steps. It will flower for at least eight months of the year and the flowers change colour so they start white and then fade to pink. Um, so it's a delightful thing to put in your garden and fuss free. It's no maintenance, it requires a sunny spot like this and it will just continue to look pretty for pretty much most of the year. This wonderful tree is Cornus controversa variegata and the variegata just means it has these variegated leaves which are green and cream. The common name for it is a wedding cake tree and that's because of these wonderful tiered effects that go up to the top and you can see it's getting a new tier up there. It has these lovely upright facing flowers which are brilliant for pollination access so the bees and butterflies and things can get to them really easily and all, all the leaves drop off in the winter time. I'd be tempted to cover the whole thing in fairy lights giving you an instant Christmas tree. I love the way that this meadow has been integrated into the garden and they've done that by just mowing neatly right up to the edge of it, giving it kind of a frame if you like or a border and it's got some lovely things in it. It has this buttercup, an oxide daisy which are ever so pretty and then this lovely pink flower called ragged robin which is a native species and there will be tons of butterflies and bees on this over the summer and it really is quite delightful it has lovely movement to it i would recommend anybody to try and have a go at growing wildflowers in their garden this amazing plant is a gunner and is an absolute beast it loves to be by the water, it likes its roots to be nice and damp and it gives you these huge leaves. These can get up to eight foot tall and are big enough to stand underneath. Really exciting for children, they look totally Jurassic, I love them. This iris is absolutely stunning, the colour and the texture and if you look inside it has a bright yellow landing strip directing the bee to where the pollen is inside. It's a beautiful plant. Now irises grow from a rhizome which is in the ground and that needs to be exposed and on the top of the soil and the reason being is because that needs to be baked by the sun and the more heat that contains the more flowers that you will get during the year. Hedges are a great way to divide a large garden and they kind of create a room within a room if you like. This yew is brilliant because you can trim it at any time of year apart from the winter. You can do it with hedge trimmers or by hand and it will give you 365 days of evergreen. Now this choice is a great shrub and one I often use in garden design. It's really useful for a darker corner because it has these glossy leaves that will reflect the light and these white flowers which will kind of illuminate the whole space. So a really good shrub to use. Now this is one of my favourite plants and I grow it in my own garden. It's Steeper Gigantia. It's a grass and it's really useful for a dry spot and also it's brilliant to use at the front of a border because the plumes come up like big ones like this you can still see through it to the plants at the back and here they've used one on either side of the path to kind of really lead you through the space and if you plant it in a west facing area it catches the evening sun and these all shimmer like gold. Beautiful. For more gardening videos check out silverlinetools.com